I'm going to show you how to replace the filters in an RO4000 countertop filtration system. I'm going to remove the second carbon from the system, and I know it's the second because if I follow the white tubing from the diverter piece, I can see the first filter it goes into is the bottom one, the first carbon. Then the water goes through the membrane, and then it goes into the second carbon, and if you have an RO4000 unit, it will go through this filter and into the alkalizer. Now I'm going to start by unscrewing the second carbon filter I have, and just place it to the side for now. This is the new carbon filter and I'm just going to pull this yellow cap off the top and screw it into the headpiece like this. Pick up the first carbon filter and unscrew it from the headpiece, then discard off once it's detached. Now I'm grabbing the other carbon we put aside and I'm going to screw it into the first headpiece. Once that's done, I can put these two filters back into their brackets. For the membrane, all I need to do is detach this black tube, which is the wastewater tube, by getting my nail in between where the elbow connection is flush with the collar here. Once that is done, I can unscrew the old membrane, which you only have to replace every four years and discard a bit. Now I've done that, I can unscrew the filter and grab my new membrane and take this piece out of the base, which keeps the system airtight, and take the yellow cap out of the top. Simply screw it back in and connect the wastewater tube into this hole. Now I'm just going to click this back into the bracket and move on to the final filter, which is the alkalizer. This one is a bit different as it doesn't unscrew, so the first thing to do is remove the blue tube from both ends of the filter. This filter is being discarded and is replaced every two years. I'll take my new alkalizer and pay attention to the flow direction on the cartridge. I can see that the water exits the system from here, so make sure your flow direction is facing in that direction. All you need to do now is push the blue tubes back into either end of the cartridge and let the water run through the system for about 5 minutes until the water runs clear.